After New Mexico State's 31 to 10 win over Auburn on Saturday to improve to 9 and 3 on the season, the Aggies received three votes in Sunday's AP Top 25 poll. We believe it's the first time the Aggies have received votes in that poll since early in the 1999 season. It speaks to the incredible year Jerry Kill squad has had, and the driving force behind it is a diminutive former state champion wrestler at quarterback Diego Pavia. The Albuquerque native got to put those wrestling skills on display versus the Tigers. There you see it right there. He's done it with his play to every team NMSU has played since mid-September as they've won seven in a row in eight of nine. Pavia doesn't look like much. The Aggies list him at six feet tall, but I don't believe them. But all he does is win first in national championship at the junior college level and now at New Mexico State. He's got a skill set that's akin to a poor man's version of Johnny Manziel. It's made of a darling of the entire college football world. Just ask the folks at Barstool and Reddit. He's not without faults. No one will forget the infamous video of him appearing to urinate on the Lobos practice field earlier this year. Pavi is still being punished internally for that, I'm told, and has shouldered the blame with his teammates. Now, the knock on him last year was that he would make the big play, but maybe not the smart play, but that has not been the case in 2023. He's got just two turnovers to his name since a September 9th loss to Liberty. As Pavia goes, so go the Aggies. He's got the heart of a line, a true QB1 that the entire team has faith in. It takes a special player to engineer a road upset of Auburn, let alone on a bum leg that almost kept him from playing. With the Aggies in the Conference USA Championship game, Pavia will be in the running for CUSA Player of the Year. I don't know if he will win, but there's not a player in college football who is more valuable to their team than Diego Pavia. Jerry Kill has also assigned him maybe the greatest title that Kill himself can give a player. Take a listen to this. He's the toughest kid I've ever seen playing quarterback. And, I, and Joel Samberski was a tough one in Southern Illinois, but there isn't anybody I've coached that's tougher than that kid. Yeah, that's a huge compliment from Kill. He said they'll have to be very ca careful with how they handle Pavia this week versus Jack State because of that lingering injury. They need him more December 1st for the CUSA title game versus Liberty. Here's Pavia's season stats in the case for Conference USA Player of the Year. 2,458 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, just six interceptions, 740 rushing yards, and five scores. He ranks top five in all of CUSA in passing, rushing, and total offense. He's the Aggies' leading rusher as the quarterback. That is not very common. Most important, he's led the Aggies to their best season since 1960, 9 and 3, and they're still going. A chance for 10 wins Saturday in their home finale. The Aggies are two and a half point favorites over Jacksonville State.